What's going on? This is Pedra and today in this video I want to talk about how to overcome any type of addiction that you might have whether that's drugs, whether that is eating bad food, whether that is pornography, whatever it is in this video I want to talk a little about addiction and I want to talk about how you can overcome your addiction and how you can build good habits so you can go to where you want to go and live life as fully as possible so let's get into uh, the let's get it let's get let's go a little bit deep into addiction and see what addiction is all about uh, where it comes from and why people uh, choose to to get addicted to substances and things that increase dopamine and, and creates that addiction so if you really think about, if you really think deep about any type of addiction, you will realize that addiction is comes from not being able to handle pain. So in other words, when you have a pain or when you cannot handle pain, because we live in a life where uh, there is nothing you can do about pain. Pain is just part of being alive, part of living this life. And pain, we need to know how to do pain management. We need to we need to be able to know about pain and about how we can manage pain. And what happens is when we cannot manage pain, when we cannot uh, handle the pain, what tends to happen is we try to uh, rely on substances or food or drugs or whatever to numb our brain and to really, to really, not being uh, to 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 stop for us from really managing that pain and we we rely on those things to stop us from thinking numbing ourselves and we think in ourselves if we think in our own mind that if we can uh, numb ourselves we're really getting over getting get managing the pain where in reality is when you are addicted and when you are taking drugs or substances or whatever you are really not overcoming the pain you are not really managing it all you're doing is you just shoving it under the rug and later on when you are sober when you're back to normal that the pain comes back 10 times so really by taking drugs and, and and substances and food and sex and all of that stuff you cannot really overcome your addiction so let's 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 go a little bit deeper on uh, on how you can overcome your addiction so if you look, if you think about, okay, now where does pain come from? Where does pain come from? Pain comes from not, not accepting, from not accepting your current life or your current situation. And when you don't, when you don't accept, when you don't accept something, um, you tend to want to change it. You you create a resistance to want to change that life and to 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 live a, a, another kind of life. A way to to overcome that that addiction is to to accept this life accept everything that happens to you accept uh, accept 100% fully like you actually put yourself into this situation uh, by by purpose uh, how many guys do you know out there we probably all know somebody that rely on 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 things to to really overcome their pain, their, their and 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 their pain and the addiction they have by taking drugs, by drinking, by by eating bad food, all of that stuff, we tend to want to do this stuff to to really get rid of the pain and and um, feel better about ourselves. The secret, like I said, is to be is to accept yourself, accept everything that happens to you right now at this particular moment. And not try to fight it, not try to fight it, and not try to change it. In other words, if you give up control of your life, the irony is you get control. So just let go. If a pain comes to you, just let it be there. Just embrace it. Just take a deep breath and and, and just let that pain settle. And, and don't try to change it. A lot of time when we when, when we get into a, 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 a maybe a like when we, we, we break up from our partners, it really hurts and we do anything to change that. Uh, why don't you for a change not try to change anything? If you like, for example, break 
break up with your partner and you're no longer with them and you're really upset and you're really you really you really cannot believe that this happens you're full of pain and and you're full of like resentments and all of that stuff why don't you just let it settle why don't you just just take a deep breath and instead of trying to change it just embrace it and just be with the pain be with it and just witness the pain rather than try to fight off the pain if you know what i mean so don't try to fight off the pain instead just try to acknowledge it just try to witness it and just try to accept it as it really is and know that you cannot change stuff like how many times we hear uh, like if you break up with your partner how many times you say just don't think about it just let it go just don't think about it how many times do we actually succeed almost none right because we try to change it if you you look you cannot reason with your mind you should just accept as it is and accept that pain that it is in your life and when you let go control when you surrender when you give up that's when you have control that's when you manage your life and that's when things happen so just accept this current moment other things i want to talk about uh, uh in in the seventh step they have a prayer that goes god uh, grant me the serenity to accept the things i cannot change courage to change the things i can and the wisdom to know the difference. This prayer is really, really powerful prayer. And it's really powerful because in life, when we we can only control our action, we cannot control people's reaction. We cannot get our ways in life. We, there's no way we can have everything we want. All we can do is to is, is, is the courage to change the things that we do can change, to, to change action. We cannot control people's reaction. We cannot control people's outcome and all of those things. All we can do is, is to control our own action. We have to control our own action and forget about, uh, about really, uh, forget about the outcome or the result you're looking for. Just accept whatever it is that you have now and be at peace with it. And just tell yourself, look, I'm going to, do the best I can. And I'm going to say this one more time because it's really a strong a strong prayer. Uh, God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. And that really hurts us. A lot of the addicted people, we don't want to accept our current situation. And we, we often we often entrapped in, because I can't have this or because I can't do this, I'm going to... I'm going to, to rely on a substance, whereas reality, you have to just surrender and say to yourself, look, I don't want anything, there's nothing I'm after, I'm happy at this particular moment, I am, and just go out there and, and have the courage to change the things you can, and go out there and do the stuff that might give you the result, know that in life there is nothing guaranteed, there's no way you can have everything that you ever wanted, there's, life is not fair, unfortunately, but when you have when you have that acceptance, when you have that courage to change the things you can, that will give you the peace you need. And guess what? Most often than not, if you have the courage to take action and go for the things you want, your life will turn out exactly how you want it to be. It's really, it's it's really amazing if you take action, if you change the, if you if you have, just have the courage to change the things you can, you will have everything you want in life. So really, that's it. Uh, one book I recommend is The Power of Now. And just praying and just and just connecting with yourself and understanding yourself will help you succeed. That's it really. That's my view on addiction. If you like to subscribe, like and share. If you want to subscribe to my list, learn more about online business marketing. I put the link in the description, the link on my bio, uh, uh, on my bio and the Instagram. Go and watch it from there. I hope you enjoy it. Thanks again for taking the time to watch this video. Until next time, another video. Take care.